Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to bleed brakes. I will be bleeding brakes on this Avid system. For this, you'll need an Avid bleeding kit, which consists of two syringes, a T10 and T25 Torx key, and a bleeding block. As you can see, I've already removed the wheel and the brake pads at the front of the bike. Make sure you don't pull the front brake lever as you'll seize the pistons. Make sure that you use dot fluid and not mineral oil for this system. Firstly, you'll need to fill up both syringes, one half full and the other quarter full. Make sure when you're filling your syringes with the fluid that you're closing them off with this tubing clamp. So what we're going to do now, we're going to insert this block. This will act as your pads and your disc while you're bleeding the brake. The reason we do this is so it doesn't overflow the system with fluid. When you're putting this bleed block in, it'll have a directional arrow just on there to show you which way you put it in. And when you hit the click, that's when you know you've got it in correctly. Next, you want to grab your half full syringe and what we're going to do, we're just going to get rid of any bubbles in the system. We're going to use this rag just to catch any excess fluid if it comes out. And then, close the clamp, double check, there's no more bubbles in there, which there isn't. Now with your half full syringe, we're going to keep this to hand and we're going to use this Torx key just to undo the bleed port and screw this syringe in. like so. I'm just going to cable tie this because I'm uh, doing this on my own. If you have a little help from someone else just to hold this in place while you get the other syringe prepared, that's always handy. For this, I'm just going to hold it together just there with a the cable tie. Now grab the quarter full syringe and what we're going to do is the same again with the half syringe. Just unclip it here, and get rid of any bubbles in there. So, I'm just going to do that. There we are. No more bubbles in the system. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to attach this quarter full syringe onto the lever. Now, this syringe will accept the overflow from the caliper syringe during the bleeding process. So, what we're going to do, remove this cap off here like so, and you see that bleed port just there, I'm just going to undo that and then screw this syringe in. There we are. Again, to hold the syringe in place, I'm going to be using another cable tie. I'm just going to wrap it around here. Just don't do it too tight, just tight enough to hold it in place. Firstly, we're going to make sure that both the tubing clamps are open on the syringes. While the caliper syringe is held in the upright position, start pushing the lower syringe fluid through the system and up to the lever syringe. Whilst doing this, Make sure you're looking for any air bubbles in the system or any dirty or contaminated fluid. This will look like a darker, discoloured version of the new fluid. Keep pushing the caliper syringe till it's nearly empty, but don't empty it. Once that's done, immediately close the tubing clip on the lever syringe, leaving the caliper clip open. As you can see, there's an air bubble in there and there's also a slight discoloration in the fluid evidence that it needed bleeding. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull the brake fully on towards the bars and I'm going to hold it in place with this strap. You can use a rubber band, it just depends which item you have with you. Now that I have attached the strap to the brake lever, 
I'm going to move down to the caliper syringe and gently push the plunger to pressurise the system and then pull back on the plunger, repeating this three to four times, inspecting for any air evident in the caliper syringe. Next, while holding the lever down with your hand, remove the strap. Then, push the caliper syringe plunger in while slowly allowing the brake lever to relax to its normal position. Now, you need to close the tubing clip at the caliper syringe. Next, remove the syringe and reinstall the bleed port screw and clean off any fluid with either soapy water or an alcohol wipe. You'll be glad to hear, guys, we're on the final stretch. First, you need to start by opening up the tubing clamp of the lever syringe and putting back on the plunger to create a vacuum. Now, push the plunger and pull the lever slightly to let it snap back to help you remove any more air bubbles in the system. You need to repeat this about 10 times or until there's no more air bubbles in the system. Next is to push the plunger gently while removing the syringe and reinstalling the bleed port screw, making sure that you clean up any excess oil. Make sure, when you completed your bleeding process, that you dispose of this fluid in a safe way. As you can see here, I've fitted the brake pads back on and the wheel. What we're going to do, we're just going to spin the wheel and check to see if the brake's working. As you can see, it's a nice firm reaction. But if you'd like a firmer reaction than that, please repeat the process from the beginning. So that's how you bleed your brakes. It's quite easy once you get the hang of it, so good luck.